Hey, great to see you. In today's video, we will show you how to use AI characters in CapCut to make a tutorial video. Once you've got your video clip added and it's been edited properly, you can manually enter text or you can use auto captions. In this example, I'll be using auto captions because I find it easier since my video clip has spoken audio. If you're creating a shorter video, you can use the manual text method. Tap on text, tap auto captions, and start the auto captions process. Wait for the auto captions to be generated properly. Once they are, they'll appear as text boxes like this. The first thing you need to do to make AI characters work properly is to go through your entire video and make sure that the auto captions boxes are right together, meaning that one text box runs into another. If you don't do this, two things can happen. The first is that your AI character will disappear off screen until the next text box, or your AI character may even sit on screen and do nothing, creating long awkward pauses between dialogue. Making sure that your video is edited properly and the auto captions run together like this will ensure that your video sounds natural. To remove one of the gaps between the auto captions text boxes, just move to the end of a piece of text and press on the end and drag it out until just before the beginning of the next caption. Doing this will allow your character to remain on screen as your video plays. You may want to remove even the smallest gaps. You can edit your script once you've created your character, but it's a bit more difficult. The audio for your voiceover isn't perfect. Don't worry about it because you'll be muting it once you've created your AI character. Don't forget, once your character is created, to tap the mute icon to the left of the timeline to mute the original sound. When your AI character is created, the audio should be perfect because it's generated by AI. To create your character, select one of your captions and select AI characters from the toolbar. Choose whatever character you want to use. In this video, hey, I'm going to give you one more example see you. of how you can select a character and tap on the check mark and then wait for the speech to be generated. This may take some extra time. When this number on the screen now reaches 100%, you will get a message that says character completed. Your character video. will appear in the center of the screen like this, but don't worry because you can move them. In this video, I'm going to give you one more example of how you can take a modern digital photo and turn it into a vintage photograph. I will show you how to change the dimensions of your photo. Make the photo black and white by reducing the saturation. Tap on edit. Tap the auto icon. This will slightly improve the photo. Before you begin, tap on saturation and bring it all the way down. Tap brightness and bring it all the way up. This will make the photo brighter. Tap contrast and bring it all the way down. Bring down the shadows and bring down the highlights. To make the photo even brighter than it already is, you can tap exposure. Bring the exposure all the way up and then slowly decrease it until you can see the photo clearly. Select black point and reduce it. This gives the photo a more gray appearance, but you can still see the photo clearly. It is not possible to introduce noise or the film grain effect inside the Photos app. Select the vignette property. Use that to make the corners of the photo look faded. If you increase the Vignette property so that it reads 100, you'll notice that the corners of the photo become dark. We decrease the property like this. You'll notice that the corners of the photo become white. 
Now that the photo has been made black and white, by reducing the saturation, give your photo a different look by using one or more of the preset filters. Tap the filters icon on the bottom and then just select any filter to see how it looks. If you want to apply a bit of a sepia tone look to your photo, use Vivid Warm. Your character will appear as a layer inside your project. To move your character, simply select the layer, which appears underneath your main clip, and slide it over to the left or right, top or bottom. You can also change the appearance of the character by selecting Frame. To change the way the character looks, you can tap on the appearance. So In this video, I'm going to give you one more example. Voice. You can tap on frame and choose one of these frames. And I'll slide the character down a little bit once I tap on the check mark. Just select the layer one more time and move the character. I'm going to drop it down a little bit and leave it on the left hand side. It looks like my character is giving a presentation which is playing on screen behind them. Notice that by default, your character has no background, but you can also make changes to the background. You can even animate how your character appears on screen. Once your character has been added, you can delete the captions so that they don't appear on screen. Tap on text, just select each text box individually and tap the trash can to delete it. Do this until you've deleted every caption. You may need to scrub back and forth several times to make sure that all the captions are properly deleted. If you see text on the screen, the text box is still there. So make sure you get all the text off the screen by quickly scrubbing back and forth once you think you're done. When you see no more captions on the screen, all of the captions have been removed. This may take some time, and I've sped up this part of the tutorial. When you're done, export your video. Here's the final product. In this video, I'm gonna give you one more example of how you can take a modern digital photo and turn it into a vintage photograph. Make the photo black and white. By reducing the saturation, tap on edit. Tap the auto icon. This will slightly improve the photo. Before you begin, tap on saturation and bring it all the way down. Tap brightness and bring it all the way up. This will make the photo brighter. Tap contrast and bring it all the way down. Bring down the shadows and bring down the highlights. To make the photo even brighter than it already is, you can tap exposure. Bring the exposure all the way up. And then slowly decrease it until you can see the photo clearly. Select black point and reduce it. It is not possible to introduce noise or the film grain effect inside the Photos app. Select the vignette property. Use that to make the corners of the photo look faded. We decrease the property like this. You'll notice that the corners of the photo become white. Now that the photo has been made black and white, by reducing the saturation, give your photo a different look. By using one or more of the preset filters, tap the filters icon on the bottom and then just select any filter to see how it looks. If you want to apply a bit of a sepia tone look to your photo, use Vivid Warm. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.